Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be going over what devices are used with the XCVR2-345 transceiver on your Go Control 2 gig panel. We know that as a GC2. All right, our GC3 is the later version of the 2 gig panel. Uh, as you see, it has a bigger touchscreen and the buttons on the right hand side. And the GC2 has a smaller touchscreen, two buttons underneath, and a little speaker uh, speaker holes on the top left corner. Now, the XCVR2-345 is what the GC2 uses to send out any commands. Now, typically, the GC2 only comes with the 345 megahertz receiver. So that means it's only listening, it's only able to receive signals from the sensors. So that means any bi-directional devices that you guys have, keypads, go bridges, image sensors, which use 900 megahertz frequency, uh, you would not be able to use on a GC2 if you have not installed the uh, XCVR2-345 transceiver. Now, uh, we do actually have an install video, the, uh, the XCVR2-345 install to the GC2 on our YouTube channel. So if you guys need help on installing it, please look up that video. Today, I'm just gonna go over some of the devices that use this transceiver, uh, starting with the first one, which is going to be our GoBridge. Um, it's gonna be our GoBridge IP communicator for this uh, GC2. Now, typically, just so you guys know, the GoBridge is probably the only communicator that can be activated through internet only on alarm.com. Alarm.com normally requires every single one of their panels to have a cellular communication path enabled. The Go Bridge and the GC2 are the only panel that will allow you to do internet only. However, you will still be charged for cellular price plans only. So just because you have a Go Bridge communicator on your GC2 doesn't mean you will be able to sign up for an internet plan with your alarm company since Alarm.com only has cellular based plans. You will still be charged for cellular. So if you're being charged for cellular, might as well just get the GoBridge and the cellular communicator while you're at it. Now, GC2, uh, it's still a common system that a lot of people still have. Some of you out there may need a firmware update if you're gonna be getting the new LTE communicators. So there's a lot of things that come into play when you're doing this. So it's always best to contact your alarm professional and we'll, either us or they'll be able to help you figure out what you need. Now, the GoBridge communicator, it's an IP communicator, internet communicator, that you plug directly into your router with an internet cable. From there, you actually learn it in wirelessly to your GC2, and uh, you need the XCVR2-345 so that this panel here can communicate to the GoBridge com communicator that works with Alarm.com. So not only it needs to be able to receive the signals from that GoBridge communicator, but it actually needs to be able to send out the status. So like, if you ever arm the system <clears throat> from the panel to a way, or if you ever disarm the system uh, from the panel, that signal needs to be sent to the communicator so that then it can update alarm.com if you guys have the service, and you guys can actually make sure that the live status on your panel is showing correctly on your app. So it needs that, XCVR2-345 in order to communicate back and forth to the Goldbridge communicator. I'm gonna show you guys real quick, I'm just gonna open the panel up, it's gonna give me a cover tamper. I'm gonna show you guys exactly where it's gonna be installed, just so you guys can see. Um, I'm just gonna pull my panel directly off the back plate. And if I look at the back here, if you look at the top right corner, I'm holding it upside down. It's right across the battery pack. It's this little silver piece with the black foam there. Um, that's normally where you would see your 345 receiver, but that's what you're replace. That's what you're going to replace with the uh, XCVR2-345 transceiver. All right. Let me go ahead and put it back now. Good. All right. So that is the first device that we're gonna talk about that gets uh, that needs the XCVR2-345 to communicate. The second device is gonna be the Image1 sensor. The Image1 sensor transmits at a 900 megahertz frequency, which 
for those of you who don't know, the XCVR2-345 not only works at 345, but it also does 900 megahertz, which is exactly what the image sensor communicates at. So in order for uh, this panel to work with an image sensor, uh, you need that, receive, that transceiver module. Um, now the reason why you also need that is because you don't want the image sensor capturing images while the system is in a disarmed state and there's there's people at home. You typically want the image sensor to work whenever the system is in a disarmed, or I'm sorry, whenever the, whenever the system is in an armed away or an armed stay mode maybe. Um, typically it's going to be an armed away mode. Uh, that's usually when motions are enabled and that's when nobody should be in the house and that's when you want the images to capture the anyone walking by that may set off the motion. Now the third device is going to be the TS1 keypad. The TS1 keypad is the touchscreen keypad for the GC2. That also transmits at 900 megahertz so you need that transceiver so that whenever you arm from this keypad or whenever you arm from the other keypad the commands are being sent and they're actually syncing. If you don't have that receiver and you're arming away on this keypad that other TS1 keypad is not going to know whether the system's armed away, armed stay, disarmed. It's not going to know what sensors it has. It's not going to have any communication at all to this panel. So that's why you need to make sure that if you're going to be using that TS1 keypad for the GC2, that you guys actually have that XCVR2-345 uh, transceiver. Um, so those are the three main devices that are used with this XCVR2-345. Again, it's so it's to allow your panel to work with bi-directional um, communicators and devices. Uh, again, the things that we touched base on today was the GoBridge IP communicator, the Image1 sensor, and the TS1 keypad. If you guys have any other questions about devices, uh, feel free to go ahead and email us to support at alarmgear.com. If you found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and enable the notifications so when we upload new content, you guys get notified. I'm George, and I'll see you guys next time.